Okay, uh, good morning everyone. This is a short video instructions regarding on how you will enter your uh, actual performance in the Ijada system. So once you log in, you will uh, see this uh, uh, notice. So this is just a survey. I have done this, so I have done this already. So you can just uh, answer this survey. It will just take a few minutes. So once you answered uh, this survey, you will just uh, uh, will just enter it and send it. Okay. So for me, I will just close it. Then after that, you will just go to the employee plan. So the in the employee plan, you can see the objectives and main results so this one you need to click and after clicking this you can see that here you have the semi-annual course for all employees and semi-annual course for all employees too so in this semi-annual course for all employees one you need to um, press or uh, click this actual performance so once the actual performance is already there you will see your goals the goals that you have made for your ijada okay so here you are going to enter your actual performance okay so here for example your number one goal is uh, observe the students like that or uh, make a lecture so you have here your below expectations and fulfilled expectations Okay, so once you have already uh, asked uh, your supervisor to check your ijada, they will tell you if you have met the expectations or not. So once both of you agreed that your goal has been met, you will need to enter here your actual performance. Okay, for example here for mine, below expectations will be 1, fulfills expectations will be 2, and above uh, expectations will be 3. For example, I feel that I have fulfilled the expectations, so I will just uh, write here 2. Okay? So, it will go on on the second objective. So, so, same thing, you will follow. And after that, so here, I will write also 2 with my actual performance. And here, I will write also 2 for my actual performance. It means that I have fulfilled the expectations on the goals that I have uh, written before. Okay, and then next, for your second goal. Here, for, for mine, uh, you, you, here you can see uh, with mine uh, that my expectations or targets is uh, date. So here... Once you enter the date, it will be in uh, Arabic. So for me, I just uh, see to it every uh, try, trial and error only. Uh, you will just click if it is already the date. Same thing. You have here your below expectations and also your fulfills expectations and above expectations. For example, your goal is that you will finish a certain goal on that specific date. So for example, for me, fulfill expectations is on February 17, 2022. So I should also write here 17 February 2022. It means that I have met my expectations on that date. Okay? Same thing here. For those who have date as your target expectations, this one is in Arabic. So you will just uh, trial and error. Click it until you will see that the date is already the same with your fulfilled expectations or above expectations or below expectation date. And the last thing that you should do is submit for approval. Here you have two choices. Send and enter goals for the next period or only send actual performance if you don't have uh, your goal for the next period so you will just send only send actual performance okay here it will show this pop-up don't worry because it is already sent for approval okay i have checked it uh, i have tried many times uh, even though that other pop-up also i have tried uh, this one to send to set and enter goals for the next period but the same thing it will show an error but don't worry it will already set to your uh, supervisor for, uh, for approval okay that's it that's the only thing you need to do first you need to prepare your ejada 
let your supervisor check it and approve it and decide if both both of you should decide if you meet your goal your target goal if or if you fulfill the expectations on your goal and after um, your supervisor have checked it then you can enter your agenda in the system that's it thank you very much